welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh reviewing Boeing. Boeing is one of the weakest things right now in the market. And, and, and I don't know if anyone remembers what I said. This was a couple of months ago now. I felt this way at the end of 2019. And I was expecting a break in Boeing to happen any second. And we did drop off from the point that I thought. We dropped off early uh, 2020 in January. We had this sell off. Then people bought this year. I thought that that was a terrible idea. I've called nothing but puts in this stock this year. Um, in fact, I can't even tell you how many puts I've called in this, but quite frankly, this is a nice short. Uh, this is a really nice short. This is one of the shorts that I think that has the potential to be huge. <laughs> I mean, and while the market's falling, that is true. And so everything is falling today. The reality is that Okay, so basically, here's where we're at. Snug as a bug in a rug right here. If we break here, you know, we could go out down to this 280, 279 number. But I got to be honest with you, this is like nothing here. I mean, I just, it, it's like really hard for me to find a target because I just think this is going to continue to drop if the market continues to drop. Now, what if the market doesn't continue to drop and the market finally starts to support itself and hold a level and find a level? Will this continue to drop on its own, I believe yes, but I don't know how quickly that occurs. And if this doesn't go down to 280 right now, today or tomorrow, I definitely feel like this is a high probability of getting to that 280 number. And then if it would break 280, it can just collapse. Like, we're, I'm just going to throw this out there because I really don't know where the market's going to end up here today. It's too early to say. Market's trying to find its footing, but I don't think it's going to. Um, if the market continues to fall, Boeing chart is full on broken. It was broken last year and I saw that and that's why I said that on TV in December and January as well. But here's the thing. Um, this has, this is just some big potential. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this was got to 260. I mean it could get it could even get down here. I mean that's that sounds so crazy. I don't I don't want to get people's hopes up here with this cuz I really I think we need to see here what this does today into the close and what this does today too. We're so weak though now in the last couple of days and I am shocked. There's no one that's more shocked than me. However, when I got up this morning, and actually I knew last night that if we if we did what we did today, that everything was going to fall. And then I got up this morning, and then we gapped down, and I knew everything was going to fall, and I was right. So big drop this morning. The question is, where are we going to close? Four hours left. More than half the day left to see. But Boeing, I absolutely believe, is on its own here. Had the biggest drop today of anything. If you really, 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 really want to hold something, no matter how the market closes today, another couple of days, then Boeing would be the weakest of the picks, um, simply because of the way the chart looks, the targets that are still left in it, and everything else. Now, theoretically, could this get bought if the market gaps up tomorrow? And I'm not saying that happens absolutely at all. But if this, if the, could this gap up if the market gaps up? Still don't, I don't think it's going to go anywhere higher right now. I, I think this gap could hold for quite a while. This is just, this is, I mean, this is a good gap. That's the reason this fell so hard so fast today. I called six trades in this with six different strikes plus a day trade. It's just, I mean, this is a big move for the stock and it's been having big moves. I mean, this was a big move here, but I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with taking profits also, people. Taking profits and then getting back in. There's nothing wrong with taking half the profits, holding half. There's nothing wrong with getting out of the whole thing and then retaking it. 
Now, if you're holding everything, I honestly, honestly don't think that's a good idea because of the level of the drop off we had today and everything was up so quickly. But, you know, it's, it's up to you. I do not know where we closed today in the market and I do not know where we got tomorrow morning. I saw this morning that everything would fall and it did. So um, the most important thing is to be green. Green, 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 green. And what does that mean? You're, you're, you're not green until you book the money, until you're out of the trades. That doesn't mean I don't think we're lower, but I'm just saying like, when you get a move like we had this morning in the first hour of the day, you gotta book some profits in that. If not half the trades, the entire things. If not all of the trades, a good portion of the trades. But Boeing is one that I have to think that has a lot of potential. But the drop off this morning, this morning was so big and so profitable that I don't know why you wouldn't have gotten out. So I called another one here recently for everybody and I'm gonna be watching this here to see about some more because this I like the best as far as the chart and the look of the chart and the weakness of the chart. All right, good luck everyone. If you're interested in the Gap Options newsletter, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day everyone.